Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Craft, and today we are going to sort of compare the endless notebooks. I say sort of because even if I will write just a few writing samples for both, um, it also serves as some sort of an unboxing for the newer set that has regalia paper. So I initially got the endless recorder with the Tomoe River paper. I have it in squared or with grid. So when you unbox it, it will come with this, well, it feels like leather. It's nice and textured. It's, it's very soft. Um, and it will come with a little card. Now, when you open the card, you will have a sticker here. Now, I've opened this particular notebook before, and it came with a sticker that said, ideas are endless. I have since moved it to one of my journals because I loved it. And this is what I got. And this is how it looks. It will come with the table of contents. And then it will start with the grid paper which they call squared and it is numbered. So that is very helpful. Okay, it'll also come with two sort of like bookmarks. And at the very end, you have a few perforated sheets. I've actually removed one of the perforated sheets already because I was trying out an ink. So you can see that one sheet has been removed. It was quite easy to remove it. And of course, it will come with a band, right? And at the very back of it, it actually has a little um, envelope that or a pocket that you can put things in. And of course, the band around it, the paper band around it, has a bit of information about the recorder because that's what Endless calls it. Um, it has 68 GSM Tomoe River, River paper. It is ink friendly. It says it has zero bleed through um, and all of that. Okay, it's acid free, it's quite good. Now, I was thinking this would be good for sort of like an ink encyclopedia later when I've sort of settled down with my inks and can start grouping them in colors. So I thought I'd put this aside. And as I was doing that, I was thinking about it. I had a discussion with the person who I got these notebooks from. And she said, if I was looking for another notebook, because I had another project in mind, she suggested that I wait for the regalia paper. So this is the newest endless notebook. It's an endless recorder. Again, it also says world's most ink friendly notebook, exactly what it says here, right? But instead of 68 GSM Tomoe River paper, which you will see here, here it now says 80 GSM. It's still acid free, which this one is. If you look at the back, it does say acid free. So this is also acid free. But the difference now is instead of Tomoe River paper, it has the ink loving regalia paper. So it's not just friendly, it's ink loving. And I got it in blank in red for a project that I have in mind. Um, now I got it in blank knowing that I wouldn't have a guide. So I've actually prepared sort of an ink blotter and guide paper notebook. I just made this myself. And then I proceeded to open it because I wanted to see what was inside and all that. And when I did, I was pleasantly surprised. And this is why. So it has to band just like the other one does. I have to say this band feels a bit looser. Okay, and this one feels just a little bit more stable. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can move it a, clo a bit closer to the camera. But this one, oops, does look a bit thinner. It feels thinner too, as opposed to this one, which feels much more, I don't know, tight or secure in the notebook. All right, but the design is basically the same. It comes with, I suppose, the Endless logo. Now, when you open it up, 
like so. All right, it has the paper band just like the other one did. And this surprised me for a second. I was a bit confused. I knew, I know for a fact that I ordered blank. And then I saw this grid with the card, of course, which made it just a bit more confusing. And underneath this, you will see that it is actually a guider sheet. So the newest endless recorder comes with a guider sheet. It comes in, in gr with a grid guider sheet and a lined guider sheet. And it's very, very handy. And it even says at the bottom, fits in the notebook project, so we will see. It also comes with that thank you card, like the other one did. But this time, the sticker says something different. It says, think big. And here, there is a code where you can register your recorder. I have yet to see actually how that works. All right, so let's just have a quick flip through. So you have your initial pages, very much like the other one, but this has a few extra blank, uh, sorry, a few extra pages here. It does not come with an index. Okay, I was sort of expecting an index, but it doesn't come with one, which is good because it matches the project that I have in mind. And let's just see if it has perforated sheets. Yes, it has perforated sheets towards the end. Before we check the back, it also comes with two um, sort of like bookmarks there. Here it is red and light blue. In this old version, it's two blues, one light and the other one a bit darker. And then towards the end, you'll see the same pocket. Okay, and let's see if it in fact fits. Okay. Yes, Ooh, almost. Yes, in fact, it fits the back pocket just perfectly. Now it also says that for this particular one, you can just open it up and it will lay flat. It does lay flat. It has just a little bit of give, all right, which I don't really mind. But for my guide sheets, my, yeah, I usually keep them out and have them where I can see them. Now, let's just take this one that I did prepare for it and just put it in as well. Because this also acts as some sort of a blotter sheet for me. Now, let's go ahead and look at the back. So it talks a bit about the recorder. It says zero bleed through and feathering as tested with most inks. Okay, and it's basically quite the same with this. Okay, just a bit of changes in wording. Okay, but a lot of it is quite the same. And of course, there will be a difference in the paper. All right, so this is Tomoe and this is Regalia paper. So what we are going to do is we're going to have a quick check, all right, and how well uh, the paper takes ink. So for this particular check, I will be using my Tusby Diamond 580 Iris. It has a medium nib and it is currently inked with the Amethyst de Laurel. And I will be using my Faber Castell uh, Ambition Coconut or Cocos in some places, also with a medium nib. And this one is holding the Detrimentous Archive ink. Okay, I will be using the back paper for this exercise. Okay, let's choose one that's perforated. In case I later decide to remove it, Okay, I'd rather choose this one. And let's get, um, let's try the guider sheet that they've provided. So the paper is not thin. It's not like Tomoe River paper thin. It actually feels a little thick. And let's try this. Yep, you can clearly see the lines through 
Let's move you a little bit closer. All right. Okay, so let's try with the twist B 580 first. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and write twist B. It doesn't really quite lay flat. Let's see if I move this. Yeah, you still sort of have to hold it back with your uh, forearm. Okay. So this is a twist B diamond 580 in iris. Okay. Let's go ahead and write that. Okay, let's write the name of the ink. Now, just to be sure, I want to make sure I have the correct spelling, so I'm just going to move it a bit closer to me. All right. So this is using um, Jacques Herbon, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let me write that down. Okay, again, this is not really going flat if you check. All right, it feels very smooth. And you can hear the feedback. I'll be quiet as I say, as I write the name. Okay, there you go. So that you can hear it. All right, feels nice. There's a bit of a, like a push from the paper. Okay, let's now try with the uh, the Faber Castell Ambition Cocoa, also in medium. Okay, I want to write the name of the ink as well, so I'm gonna put that there. Let's move that to the side. Again, I sort of have to push the back. Okay, let's go ahead and write. Ooh, Faber, okay, cash tell. This feels very good. Ambition, Coco. Some places it's called Coco, some places it's called Cocos. In some listing, I've seen it as coconut too. And let's go ahead again. This is pushing back. Okay, I think maybe I want to anchor it with the ink bottle. All right, let's go ahead and write. Dead. Detrimentous archive ink in black. There's actually less uh, feedback with this. All right, so it looks nice and thick. The archive ink looks especially good. Okay, this one looks nice. I want to see a bit of its properties. I can't quite see it. Okay, let's put it on the side though. Okay, so comes with this paper but I don't want to really ruin that so all right let's move this there okay so again this acts as some sort of a blotting paper too so I'm just gonna put that in put that in and put it aside for a second okay now let's go and try and write in this okay just for the sake of the experiment. I'm not going to anchor it down first. I'm just gonna write like I did with the other one. Okay, first let's go for the twisty. Okay. Twisty diamond. This actually feels much smoother with my twist B. Okay, again. All right, now this is bothering me a bit, so I'm just gonna anchor it down. Okay, let me go ahead and write. 
this feels much oops smoother okay amethyst oh I didn't spell it properly let me just change that okay the paper feels thinner and it's a bit smoother to write with okay let's try it with the detrimentus archive ink okay again oh this is such a lovely writer okay if you haven't given fabric cash tell a try yet i suggest you do it's a lovely writer i really enjoy using it and to think that i almost didn't because it wouldn't quite work work well the first time i received it oh it is lovely okay it lays a bit wetter on the page let's put that aside let's draw you in just quickly all right again i don't see a lot of the extra properties in the twisty uh, diamond with the amethyst de l'oreal on in it so i'm gonna try and see what happens if i shade a bit Again, I'm using a medium nib. Okay, let's see. Still quite wet. Okay, maybe it needs a bit thicker nib. I do see just a little bit of the, I don't know, the shimmer coming out. But not much in the writing. Actually, not at all in the writing. Let's revisit Regalia. Okay. There's a little bit of uh, black ink here. Okay, just in spirit of experimentation. Let's shade a bit here too. Ooh, it does it does come out much wetter on this paper and because it is a little bit wetter i suppose we see a bit more of the properties in it okay all right um which one is a more pleasant writing experience um i have to say that in both paper the writing experience is quite pleasant uh, for the regalia, the paper is a bit thicker. Okay, and for the Tomoe, as expected, it's uh, the paper is thinner. Um, it doesn't have as much feedback, and writing is much smoother. Now, for my project, I think that this is the best paper to use for it, the best notebook to use for it, so I'm quite glad that I got it for that. And for my ink explorations, which I sort of got this one for, I think this will work well for that purpose. Okay, so let me just put a bit of a blotting paper there in case it decides to blot onto the next page. Okay, so thank you very much for accompanying me as I look through these two notebooks. And I hope that this little um, ink exploration, notebook exploration, helps you decide whether you want to get the Endless with the Regalia paper or the Endless with the Tamui River paper. This is Kai. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new or enjoyed exploring with me. If you'd like to learn and grow with me, do subscribe to my channel and watch at your own leisure. I know that's what I do to channels I enjoy and want to support. If you like this particular video, please hit like. And if you'd like to share your thoughts, 
corrections or recommendations, do leave me a comment below. I love chatting with people who have the same interests. Have a great day or a restful evening. See you in the next video. Bye.